Right, welcome back guys, welcome back to Globish Gaming Channel, as always. Um, I've promised Nick is God that I would use this replay um, ages ago. He sent it to me a while ago. Uh, he's a personal friend of mine, he's been pestering me for days, weeks, years, months, okay, to get this game uploaded. Now, there's a particular reason uh, why I wanted to show this game. I mean, the M7, um, for me personally, is an absolute horrible, horrible vehicle. I hate it. Hated the grind. It was horrendous. Um, there's one particular reason that I want to show you this replay, like I mentioned, and it's this moment just here. Okay. Bonk. They can't get through. Now, in real life, IRL, if you've been all tech speaky about it, those object, those things there are designed to stop tanks. So, realism, okay, fair enough. However, Tanks, World of Tanks is not a realistic game. It's an arcade version of a tank game. All right? I don't understand why you can't get through there. Now, what this has basically done, it's completely scuppered Nick's plans. He was going to take the centre by the looks of it, and he starts asking the T-14 to uh, smash the barricade. Now, unfortunately, um, the T-14 doesn't seem to understand what Nick's on about. Uh, that might be because bless him, he's only got hey, he's played less than a thousand games, he's only got 190 experience, so he's a new player alright, so we can give him the benefit of the doubt, so he's completely screwed now, he can't go anywhere, he can't get back up again, he daren't get back up because the guys on the ridge are actually under fire so, I don't know what happened here on the replay, but he just basically sits here for a minute, I would imagine he's burrowing his head in abstract misery and shame, so I'm just going to speed up the replay until he starts moving again ok, he spots the keyhole and basically the enemy have taken the middle which any of you know if you play Kamarin you kinda have to do I've got a bit of a love-hate relationship with this map um, it depends what tank I'm in <laughs> whether I love or I hate it basically uh, and to be honest with you in a medium like the M7 alright he's in a tier 5 game, tier 5 maximum game but to be honest with you oh if I couldn't get up into the middle where I've gone that way what's he gonna do from here he's spotted uh, my map model say he's proxy spotted um, so he's really got to be careful what he does because there's an enemy KV-1 in G1 but he's going to do his best now he's using the 6 pounder uh, which I've just had a review of all the choice selection of guns on this thing and to be honest with you it's it's a 6 and 2 threes argument for which gun you'd use but this one's not a bad option um, it's got 100 and something millimeters of penetration and 75 damage uh, whereas the top gun on it has got a little bit less penetration but more damage. Now, considering the games this can get into, it is a medium tank. It's quite a strange tank because it goes from the light vehicles to medium tank. So it can only see a tier 7, but if you're seeing tier 7, that extra few millimetres of penetration could mean the difference between actually penetrating and having a chance, not having a chance at all. Uh, he's put some shots into the Panzer 1C. More on him later. He becomes an issue later. And basically, Nick's been basically made redundant by the map. Um, he can't get back up again. He's under suppressing fire from the Type T-34 across the way there. He can't get up any of these ramps. It's impossible. So basically the only way in is over a barriered area that he can't get through. And now he's shooting at the side of a KV-1 with a tank with 100mm penetration. It ain't going in. What a disaster. And here's me sitting on my woes with my pattern video saying, What else do I have to do? Boo. Now, reference that pattern video. I've had a review of some of the comments and I fully agree with what a lot of you are saying. Um, thanks for your input by the way and thanks for those guys out there that give me some helpful tips and advice. You know, it really is really good to hear. Right. Um, I'm not going to sell it. I will stick with it. And like you said, I think this is a game where you have to be in a platoon. Um, you really do have to be in a platoon to make a difference in this game especially at tier 9 there's one chat I can't remember his name I think it was John Mackey I can't remember or Jay Mackey I can't remember his name but he mentioned that the gulf between tier 6 sorry tier 8 and tier 10 is absolutely humongous um, the thing is in tier 10 the players are either really really awesome or shockingly bad and World of Tanks is getting to the stage now where it's becoming that people have lost their way to tier 10 and they don't have it sounds very arrogant but they don't have in my personal opinion the skill set um, to warrant the tanks that they're playing um, 
and it's getting to the point where if you get a team full of good players and you're facing a team full of garbage players you're gonna have a really 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 good game he's absolutely taking this KB1 to town here by the way yeah that's the difference that couple of extra millimeters of penetration um, and I think I'm going to steer away from the higher tier games. I mean, I ground my way to the tier 125, but I just don't enjoy it. I had a lot more fun in my M103, you know, and I regret selling it. I knew I would regret it. I knew I'd say this, and I told you so as I'll be flooding in. Uh, but I do regret selling that to tier 9 machine. Because um, tier 10 is just not that much fun. It's dominated by humongous overpowered tank destroyers. It still is. I don't give a fuck what Wargaming say they've done. They haven't nerfed the TDs at all. They've just trimmed them down, trimmed the fat off them a little bit. They're still way overpowered. Um, well, the, sorry, the two most overpowered tanks in the game, they didn't fucking touch. So <laughs> the Waffle Traeger, the Waffen Tractor, and the um, Death Star. Yeah, the British thing. Um, Nick's in a bit of problems here. Yeah, he's absolutely screwed. He's getting surrounded. And the enemy have finally grown a pair of balls and come to get him. His T-49 is just getting schooled, though. But, yeah, so I think I'm going to stick with the pattern. I'm going to use it for when I'm wolfpacking with the boys. You know, I think that was one suggestion that uh, somebody mentioned. Take them in a wolf pack in a platoon where you can actually do some good uh, and make a difference. Because it's not a tank you can make a difference in on your own unless you are absolutely amazing. Which I evidently am not. Um, we're losing 13-9 on this game not really much else to say about it really the whole point we wanted to show it was the fact that Nick got absolutely fucked over by those barriers unfortunately and he's just going to get taken apart now he's been surrounded, he's spotted, the enemy know where he is it's just a matter of time now he tries to make a run for it there's a friendly Matilda but again he's played by a red player which at this tier you know, I'm really not bothered about I won't make take the mickey out of people at this tier if they haven't got very good stats or they don't have a lot of games etc because this is the learning tiers it's when you get to tier 10 that it really pisses me off that people can't play. He's having a bit of a look at the Matilda there, just to see what's going on. But the, the writing's on the wall. As soon as he goes around this corner again, he's just going to get annihilated. He's trying to hug the walls. <sighs> Poor old Nick. Bless him. So, screwed over by the map. Is this something that World of Tanks need to fix? I don't know. Thoughts below. The uh, Matilda's saying he's hit, so he's just getting smashed. Oh, don't knock the trees down. Oh, BDR. Okay. He's full health as well. We've got the ammunition to kill him. Now he's right click aiming at this point. This is a good tactic. Right click aim, pop out, shoot, pop back in again. Keep yourself moving. Not a bad not a bad tactic. I use this tactic on my Cromwell quite a lot. The only trouble is, it's not just the BDR that's the problem. Oh, can we kill him? Oh, gun depression. Oh, go on, put some effective firing. And look what's behind him. Oh, the Kehoe's behind him. Can we take him out? Yes! Have it. B1. Oh, we haven't got the health. Oh, if only he'd had the top gun on. Oh, can he kill him? He's got him. Well, that's a top gun. <laughs> and taken out by a mod of 38. So, bless him. 1300 damage and 6 kills. Unfortunately, not enough. Let's just check the post-game stats out on that one. Now, before you gasp and stand there in abstract horror, okay, this wasn't the earnings of the game, okay, it was in the New Year's um, specials, if you like, and I think he awarded it uh, 150,000 or something, all right, um, for the for a bonus mission. It got him his mastery badge on a defeat, though, which, like I said, I will always show a mastery badge game. Um, I think Nick did absolutely brilliantly there, <laughs> considering what he was up against. So, you know, not only was he fighting the enemy team, he was also fighting the map uh, with a 75% crew as well. Okay, he hasn't got, actually got a 100% gold crew. So, earned him sharpshooter and master gunner, mastery badge, top gun, and I don't know what that medal is. I don't know what, I think that might be the one you get for killing light tanks. Let me research that. I'll get back to you. Or, in fact, post it in the comments below. What's that badge? Save me having to review it. Yep. Yeah. What's that badge? Got top of the charts, top of the table, 611. Now, just to put this into context, okay, he got more base experience than anybody else on the enemy team on a defeat. So he did better than anybody on the other winning team. Um, basically, he was screwed over by the map. Okay, yeah, he got 150,000 for a mission complete. Yep. Yeah. There you go, Nick. I've done it, bro. Get off my case. <laughs> No, I'm joking. I'm joking. It's up. Have you had any experiences with this on Kamarin? Um, if so, leave it in the comments below. Let's have a bit of a chat about it. See what the deal is. Is it something that's actually in the game or has it changed in the latest patch? 
um, have they done anything to it? Um, let me know. Yeah, take care, guys, and I'll see you later. Bye now.